First and foremost, I want to give a shout out as always to the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, which is the Lord of my life. Shout out to the YouTube for another opportunity to be able to share. Peace and blessings be upon each and every one of you. I want to share this to everyone that's living in New York City and everything. Um, it's a lot of violence, even more at a climax now as, we, as we're dealing with the pandemic still. The numbers are starting to rise up. Uh, black people, African people, whatever, insulting each other in multiple numbers. A lot of innocent bystanders are getting shot and hurt, murdered. What we need to do as a people, you know what I'm saying? That's not with all, all these young kids, you know, that claim to be on demon time. They don't even know what they're speaking on themselves. When you speak being on demon time, you speaking them spirits to be upon you and leash on you. And what they take over, they don't take over your body just, just entirely. They take over your mind because your mind controls everything. So they poison your mind. So when you have these kids talking about they on demon time, they talking something they don't even understand what they talking on. But be clear of this. No, they talking about being evil. Well, look at me. I'm on angel time. You know what angels do to demons. But I'm going to say this to all those, you know, that's watching what we need to do to be honest with y'all we need to start voting in this whole thing in new york city as far as you don't have a right to defend yourselves you know the problem is not the guns the guns don't kill the people it's the people that's killing the people it's these evil people that's going around killing other people or people who have issues with other people they don't know how to shoot go to a gun range you know what I'm saying? Innocent people are getting murdered for other people's uh, 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 issues with one another. But it's, it's really all these evil people killing killing innocent people. They have nothing to do with their beef, their problem. And what we need to do as a people, right? It's communities. You know what I'm saying? We got to vote in, in this policy where you don't have the right to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? New York City is one of the, the states that, that has that right. Somebody could come in your house, try to kill you, your wife, and your kids. And you kill them. You will go to jail if you shoot them. You stab them. You don't have the right to defend yourself. And you know the police, they don't come until the after the situation is solved. Hopefully, you'll still be alive. Most likely, you'll be either injured or dead. We got to we gotta up the law. We Look, we pay a lot of money in taxes and everything out here. So what we got to do, people... We got to change the laws. We put these politicians, these congressmen, these assemblymen and women, the mayor, all of them, we put them in office. Do you and I vote? As far as black people, there's been black people that have died for you and I to have the power to vote. We need to come together in community centers and in this thing so we can now legally be able to protect ourselves, get our own guns. So when these dudes that, and women that want to be on demon time, whether they trying to rob, you know what I'm saying, or, or they trying to shoot you in the street, you can defend yourself without getting penalized for it. Before they was like, yo, man, it's a vigilante. I, I, I'm in total agreement. A vigilante is, is, is a person that's acting on the behalf of what? The police. I'm not against that. But once again, as I'm running for office myself in due time, we got to do things by the law. And this law out here in New York City, it has to end. Enough is enough. Enough with the foolishness, the stupidity. You already know what it is. This is like Gotham City out here. But you know what it is? The rich, the higher ups, there ain't nobody stepping up to be a Batman. And remember, Batman was a billionaire. He didn't have nothing to lose. He had money and beyond money. But it was his pain that caused him to go into communities and do what? To make sure justice was in force. And if not, to the young people out there, sign up to become cops. If you want all this stuff to stop, if you're still in your 20s and you want all this madness to stop, sign up to become a police officer. But just know this, when you do that, you put your life on the line. So salute to all the firemen, salute to all the EMTs, salute to all the police officers that risk their life day in and day out. And I'm not talking about those that's corrupt and evil. Their time is coming. You know, I'm talking about those who are really the men and women of integrity. I had people that I knew that were police officers that died in the line of fire and everything. And the only thing they was trying to do was protect me and you so we could have freedom walking around these streets. 
So please, brothers and sisters, we got to change the voting system in New York City. Not the voting system, but the system. We got to change that law where me and you will have the right to defend ourselves legally, whether we carry a mace or whether we carry a gun. That bouncer that got shot in Queens, had he had he was able to ha carry a gun in that situation, he would have been able to probably defend himself instead of getting shot in the in his groin, and he probably don't even have a groin no more, unless they sew it back on or something like that. He probably don't even have a testicle no more in that aspect. He probably got to have a a, a, a a urinal bag on the side of him. We need to have the right to defend ourselves. The guns are not the problem. Anything can be used as the weapon. It's the people. It's the mentality. The evil that people be on, that's the problem. So brothers and sisters in New York City, please stand with me. Let's change the law. We have to vote. These people that the you know, these politicians that we have in position of power, if they're not with it, let's get them out of here. Put people that 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 want to be with this. So me and you won't have we won't feel defenseless out here. Straight up. Other than that, brothers and sisters, and definitely for the women that's traveling in the subways, y'all know what happened in New York today. Please be safe. Please be safe. By any means, protect yourself by any means necessary your life is valuable you know when you go to the store take them goddamn i buds off your ear ladies stop trying to tune men out and people out you need to be aware like i said in the video before you gotta be aware of your surroundings look around you watch your back not an issue of being paranoid you gotta be aware we living in some serious times you could go to the store and get your head popped off be aware be aware who's following you, who might be watching you. Not every man that's watching you is trying to get with you. Some men are trying to rape you. Some men are trying to attack you and rob you. Be mindful. Men, when you go to the store and stuff like that, if you see a situation that's going to be crazy, avoid the situation. I told you on my videos, avoid death by any means. Don't die before your time. Listen to that conscience that the father's giving you. Listen to the spider sense that he is giving you. And listen to the advice people are telling you like I'm telling you now. I know this is, I'm being very emotional. And it's okay because we're human. We can be emotional. But I'm, I'm tired of hearing, I heard, I heard today, you know, um, on the news the other day, a, young, a grandmother got killed going to the store. For what? Going to the store, grandma. My grandmother is in the heart of the hood, trying, begging her to get out. And she has the option to leave. Keep her in prayer, please. Brooklyn, it's not safe. Bronx, it's not safe. If you're living in them boroughs, be careful by any means necessary. If you have the financial means, move out. I don't care if it's going to cost you your bread. Nah, man, I'm stacking a lot of, no, leave. It's not safe out there right now not right now seriously if you're gonna be in brooklyn move to the better side of brooklyn like williamsburg and everything you're gonna be in the bronx i don't know it's good side of the bronx too you work your life is more valuable. this is what you work for you work to be at peace but those of you who can't afford to do that by any means do what you have to do to protect yourself and be careful be safe in these streets so Jesus bless each and every one of you. Please be safe this week. Shout out to Brother Benaya. Happy birthday to you, King. May the Lord continue to bless you with many more years to come with health, wealth, and prosperity in Jesus' name. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. About to get ready to go inside. Do what I do. And I'll hit y'all in another video soon. Peace.